Hey guys, this is Sarvan Hai from All Watching Logies, and in this video, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASUS Zenfone 3 Max, which was recently announced in India. And this is the ZC 553 KL variant, which comes with Snapdragon 430 processor, and it is priced at 18,000 rupees here in India, which, in my opinion, is disappointing because devices like Redmi 3S and Redmi 3S Prime they are priced for around 7,000 rupees or 9,000 rupees. But let's see what do we get for around 18,000 rupees on this device. So inside the box pack, you get this OTG cable that can be used for charging other devices as well as connecting pen drive. You get a 5 volt 2 ampere travel adapter that will be used for charging the device, a USB to micro USB cable that will be used for charging the device as well as data syncing, and you also get a pin to remove the SIM tray slot, which in my case is missing because it is a review unit. Now, if you take a look at the device, I have the silver color variant of the Zenfone 3 Max. It is available in few other colors, but in my opinion, the silver color looks really nice and premium. And also, the build quality of the device is really good, and that curved design feels really nice in hand. The weight of the device is around 175 grams, but I can't really feel that the device is like very heavy in my hand. Uh, the weight is like equally distributed, so it feels really solid and nice in hand overall. Now, if you take a look at the specifications of the device, this device comes with Snapdragon 430 processor with 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage, and it comes with a hybrid SIM slot, meaning which you can expand the storage, but you won't be able to use two SIM cards at the same time. We have a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display with 2.5D curved glass on the top, 16 megapixel rear camera with f2.0 aperture and laser autofocus, 8 megapixel front camera, 4,100 mAh capacity battery, and Android 6.0 Marshmallow out of the box. Now, if we take a visual overview, on the front we have a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display, and if you ask me what kind of Gorilla Glass protection is present on this device, I don't really know because there is nothing mentioned on their website, so I'm not really sure if there is any Gorilla Glass protection on this device or not. Now, on the top we have a earpiece, and next to which are few sensors. We also have a notification LED light, so that is also pretty cool. We have a 8 megapixel front-facing camera, which can take some decent selfies, in my opinion. These are just my initial impressions. I will be coming up with a dedicated camera review and a full review. So stay tuned for that. And if you are new to the channel, then make sure you subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload those videos. Now, at the bottom of the device, we have three touch-capacitive buttons, which is back button, home button, and multitasking button. And these buttons are not backlit. If you move on to the back side of the device, we have ASUS branding at the bottom. Uh, we have a fingerprint sensor, which we will take a look at. Later in this video, we also have a camera which is a 16 megapixel camera with laser autofocus and dual LED flash. The aperture over here is f 2.0, which means that we can take some good pictures even in low light situations. I'll test that out uh, and I'll let you know more about it. As I said earlier in my camera review, so stay tuned for that. But in my initial impressions, I feel that the rear camera can take some good pictures. As you can see, uh, the pictures are really sharp and nice, and the colors look quite good. Now the fingerprint sensor that is present at the back side worked perfectly fine for me. It was fast and accurate, and I don't really have any complaints with it. If you move on to the bottom of the device, we have a micro USB port in the center, next to which is the speaker, and we also have a primary microphone at the bottom. Now let's take a look at the YouTube video playback and let's see how loud the speaker is and how good the display is on the device. So the output from the speaker was actually loud and nice, and overall I feel the quality is pretty good uh, from the speaker. Not only that, the display also looks really good. So overall, media consumption experience should be pretty good with this device. We have a 3.5 mm audio jack on the top, and a secondary noise cancellation mic is also present. There is no IR blaster. I don't really use IR blaster, but if you use it and if you like it, then it's not there on this device. Anyways, we have a power button on the right side, and above which is the volume control key. Both the buttons have some texture, which is always a nice thing. And on the left side, we have a SIM tray that will accept two SIM cards if you want. And if you want to just use one SIM card, you can also expand the storage up to 128 GB. Now, if we take a look at the software side of things, this device runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and we have a lot of applications that are being pre-installed on the device, just like other ASUS devices. I don't really know. Like why the hell they do this thing? Because they are charging so much premium, and still they are installing such bloatware applications. I don't really get that thing. But you can delete those applications, and you get around 21.5 GB of free storage and around 2 GB of RAM after the first boot, which should be pretty good. 
and here are the list of sensors that are present on this device which is a nice thing because samsung likes to like not include most of the important sensors on their devices for around 18000 rupees but at least asus is including most of the sensors so that's a good thing so that's pretty much it for this video give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to all about technologies for more videos on this device and other devices also make sure you check out my new website befikarbai.com i'll leave the link in the description box below i post a lot of uh, articles related to new devices and upcoming devices leaks and uh, also full review of all these devices uh, will be posted on that website so make sure you check out befikarbai.com and also make sure you follow me on all my social media networks links for the same will be in the description box below this is Sarvam Nahayu from All Watching Logis. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.